morning guys it's uh, Monday morning uh, nice cool day uh, today I'm out doing my favorite my favorite thing with roofing uh, it's uh, roof diagnostics so I'm locating and fixing leaks today so this particular call here um, these these homeowners they had a problem with their chimney it's, uh, it's a really slow leak just enough to cause a little bit of damage in their drywall um, they, they thought that they had the issue fixed resolved but then they started getting the, getting the stains on their drywall again. So let's take a look. Uh, this is the first thing that I would do um, when I'm coming up to look for a leak. Um, so you, uh, I, you never look for the obvious things. Um, like say your chimney's your chimney's leaking. Everybody's going to think it's the flashing. It's it's not always going to be like that. 90% um, of all leaks, like literally all leaks, 90% of them, you're going to find that. Uh, it's nail placement. It's where the where roofers are putting nails. So here's an example of one right here. We'll take a look. So here's a chimney. So it looks like uh, the flashing's all intact everywhere. Uh, they thought that they had their their problem resolved. But let's let's take a look at what we're what we're looking at here. Okay. So I already broke a broke a couple seams open and such see this back pan how it's lifting up the the shingles and it's going down like this this is a you got a break in the shingle so now I, I go ahead and pop this pop this break open and look at that you see that it's a nail right there and then not only that I lift up this side you got another nail you got another nail right there so all this water and it's loose it's nothing sealed in here or anything like that all this water is going in it's going into this nail it's going into that nail now another thing this one's kind of covered with caulking but there's also another nail right there completely exposed even when I got the the shingle down on it you can still see that nail so there's definitely water going in there and there's definitely water going in there and that also that nail too so what I'm gonna do to fix to fix this problem I'm gonna well, I'll break this open a little bit um, I don't have the hunter green shingles with me so I'm just gonna take like the back piece of a shingle I'm gonna tuck it under probably about this far back on, on either side I'll have those nails here popped I'm gonna shove it under but before I do that I'm gonna get it I'm gonna blow it out and then I'm gonna seal that with caulking and then that's when I'm gonna put that that shingle in there that's the known leak to the to the client so now let's go find another one now this is a leak too um, he just doesn't know about it yet so that's another bad thing about these uh, about nail leaks nail leaks they they usually take a, a little bit of a little bit of time to uh, before you realize it in your house and by then you're gonna have all sorts of problems so Here's here's one that this is this is very avoidable. Um, I just actually did a did a quick video to uh, show people like when you're doing a chimney flashing, you should never put little pieces in close to the chimney uh, because when you're doing that, you're guaranteed you have no choice. There, there's going to be nails close 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 to the protrusions. So here, take a look at this one. First uh, first off, it's got a doesn't have a good back pan on it. So this back pan. It's making it possible so for the water to go and some of that some of that water can go underneath the flashing and God knows how the, the step flashing is underneath there okay now that's not the, the, the serious problem with this that this is where the serious problem comes with this one so you got all this water coming down so it's gonna shoot off the back pan like this right so again you break a leak break a, a seam open and then you got a nail right there. You can see the nail right there. Now you see how dirty that is? That's that's from all the water and dirt pushing under there. So that's that's a leak. Let's take a look on the other side now. So this one. So we just got some some caulking that's worn away. That's that's going to be a problem. But the the main issue with this one. 
is this nail and how the back pan doesn't kick past kick past the flashing so because it doesn't kick past the flash and you just got a nail there again the water's going to come off the back pan it's going to go underneath this flashing and it's going to go down and drip down in like a wick right through and into the house these are uh these are pretty pretty easy leaks to find um easy to fix easy to find um they're just avoidable avoidable things that uh roofers can be doing so i'm gonna get this fixed up and then uh hopefully uh my next job a little bit more of a challenge and uh yeah we'll have a good day okay guys so what i did for this little fix was i cocked the nails that were under the right under these shingles at the break and then what i did was i took the back of a shingle and i tucked it in up up high like this so that's also over top of the caulking that I put on squeezed it down and then I also underneath on the underside of this break I caulked it squished it down so that the shingles resealed okay that should uh, that should take care of this little problem okay so what I'm doing now is uh, we're just running a water test just to confirm that what we went and fixed up is all is all good and set and go just running a water test so you see that right down there that's where I did my little fix I found a thing I'm also doing let's check out the the lower uh, sorry am I seeing this right yeah sorry the lower uh, chimney as well so take a look at the the amount of water pouring off this chimney and then look where it's landing you see where that down that downpour is landing now I'll let the water fade off from there a little bit now see that shingle where it's just pushing could you imagine if you have a try and imagine having a nail which is underneath that shingle close there you can see if you look at the water you can see how that water will easily push sideways and then go in through the nail head 